Okay, now we're going to do the name Joshua in Descript. I'll skip quickly past the uh, normal J looks like this. When it begins a word, you can eliminate that, thus creating this shape. Second, the SH combo. There's an advanced combo that can be used, or a more simple combo that actually saves strokes. The advanced combo is kind of an extra f for aesthetic purposes when necessary. Okay, now, Joshua. The simplest way to connect these would be to use, uh, let's start with the more aesthetic version. J O S H U A. Sorry, that was a little bit there. Okay, and if we use the other version, J O S H U A. Okay, so these are two simple ways of quickly writing the name Joshua. Now, another combo that kind of stands out is the UA. The, the A can be combined with the, with the U in the simplest form, like so. It could also be done like this. Now, this you have to be very, very careful, because if there's even the slightest hint that there's an extra line here, this starts to be look confusing. It could be a P, it could be a U. Um, it is still clearly a U, because it's connected in this way, but you have to be careful. All right, now finally, let's try to make this a little bit more pretty, if we put it that way. Try a tall version, J-O-S-H-U-A. Uh, let's try to make it a box, character shaped, like Chinese. That's just the normal goal, to try to turn it into a single glyph or character. So with the J, the starting with the J, you can always do this. That's always nice when writing a word, because it helps you build it into a very boxy shape. J O S H. U. A. Hmm. You can play with that. That one looks very boxy. You could also try coming down the side. J O um, S H. I got trapped. See, now I'd have to go U A. When you do a multiple side chain like this, you could stick the S H off anywhere you like. When you do a multiple side chain, uh, you have to decide before you design the word whether you're going to be going short side chains or long side chains first. When I do mine, I always say read the so short side chains first. Now the problem is here, these are both double letter combinations. So when it's the same length, you then follow the standard reading rules. Top to bottom, left to right, outside to inside. So these are on the outside, this is on the outside, this is on the left, this is on the bottom. Therefore, according to just normal reading rules, this should be read before this. Okay. So that's how you can write the name Joshua in many different forms.